the morning. This is what I've woken up to this morning. Totally appropriate, isn't it? 20 past 8 on a Saturday morning. And who doesn't take out like a couple of chainsaws and a pneumatic drill at 20 past 8 in a residential area? These fucking muppets. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Well, that's a fun way to spend a Saturday morning, isn't it? And next Saturday, I'm getting up at about five. <laughs> Apparently, it's emergency repair works. It better be, because otherwise, there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> I this better be finished soon, because it's an emergency. So surely they will have fixed it all today. We'll see. Welcome to dinner. I'm going to attempt to show you how to blow smoke rings with a steamer. Trying to find an angle where there's... That was a good one. There you go. That's how you do it. Magic. Good morning. Uh, it's Sunday and we spent all day indoors yesterday which is a bit rubbish. So today, uh, the plan is to go to the cinema and then it's going to rain a lot <laughs> and we'll be back indoors. Uh, it's actually all right at the moment. So I'm going out to buy some bits so we can make a beef bourguignon. Hello. If I look like I've just got out of bed, it's because I have. Um, it's Monday, it uh, is global week, which means you're not going to see a lot of this. You're going to see a lot of this. Um, so apologies in advance for my almost anticipated ranting and misery and general sort of, you know, self-pity. I mean, I put myself through this, so I don't want any sympathy whatsoever. Um, in fact, the opposite. Um, I would like you to snap me out of this nonsense. Um, anyway, so um, I'm out of bed because I'm already fielding calls from the aforementioned beast. Um about anything because you know I'm in there so they expect that that means that they can just use my brain um, I'm undecided as to how I feel about this but good would not necessarily appear on that scale um, it's difficult to escape unfortunately because I'm already there because I'm already doing something I can't be like yeah no fuck you I'm not coming in um, which is really would be my instinct honestly um, anyway, <laughs> this is dangerously veering towards rant territory, so um, I will go now and do something constructive. That's better, isn't it? I seem smarter and more awake. Only one of those is true. Actually, neither of those is true. <laughs> oh well. Right, I'm going to go for a little walk whilst the sun's trying to make an appearance. Buy something to have for lunch that's the plan and then all the globally nonsense here we are it's all you know working and that i've only missed one link so far so i'd consider that like a 98 percent success rate um yeah it's worrying how easily you pick this up again i haven't driven a desk in a radio studio for for nearly a year but turns out it's not that hard touches wood realizes there isn't any it's all made of flipping plastic and alloy and random resins. Oh well. Good morning. So you'll notice I'm off for a walk. It's not my casual morning walk as I'd like. It is a walk to the station, to Mortlake Station more precisely, because despite the fact that Bob Crow is dead, it doesn't seem to have any impact on tube strikes. So there we go. Anyway. That will be the end of my tube strike related ranting um, because really their aim is to cause as much upset and misery as possible. So it's not going to happen. It's just a minor inconvenience. Guess where I'm going. Yep. <laughs> Hi there. Another day, another studio. Loading bits. This is really fun. Clickety click. I've forgotten how rubbish commuting is. It's really rubbish, and especially when there's a strike on. 
It's just slower, to be honest. Um, and the longer it takes, the more rubbish it is. That is the essence of commuting. It was pretty rubbish yesterday, if I'm honest, as well. I just like not having to do it. Um, I'm just trying to work out how many things here have changed that I can't do, that I used to be able to do. I can do most things. I've got around most of the security in about two hours. Reassuring, isn't it? Anyway, right, I'm going to go and click some buttons. You go and do whatever you were doing. Do you realise that they don't actually bother to enforce copyright if you ruin it so badly that it doesn't sound anything like the original? Yeah. Excellent. That's what we thought. That's why we're doing it. See, they are very entertaining, really. Every time I give them half a sec, they'll sing. Anyway, um, it does feel uncomfortably comfortable. You know what I mean? Get involved with things I shouldn't be. Anyway, I'll be out of here Saturday at 10. I just worry this place is like quicksand. It's like evil quicksand as well. Look at the branding behind me as well. Couldn't have said it better. Um, yeah, so you have to just... Uh, you have to get out when you can. <laughs> Saturday at about 10 o'clock when that happens. Well then, <laughs> that lasts 200 metres. In fact, a bit here as well. It's a complete gnat fest. It is just millions and millions of them. Constant clouds. You either inhale them and they just try and bite you. It's not that fun. I was going to say it's a lovely day for a walk. Yeah, kind of is. Still ever so nice this time of year. Walking along the towpath, inhaling insects. Anyway, so you know, can't complain too much about this whole tube strike malarkey. I get to go outside. Thank you, unions. You have not inconvenienced me. Let me appreciate the outdoors. Let me appreciate... Well, maybe I don't want to use public transport anymore. So, it worked well, didn't it? In fact, so few of us are now going to use it, they probably should close all the ticket offices. Right, moving on, um, I'm going to go home and hopefully this lasagna that I started this morning has been brought to some sort of conclusion by Crystal and we shall see it in its full baked glory. Good morning. It's an absolutely beautiful spring day, so we're going to go for a walk before we get to work. So I'm going to go into queue um, and see the bluebells again because it's been a couple of weeks and they're probably, most of them probably coming towards the end, so it needs doing. Anyway, I'm going in with a new camera and uh, take a few photos. Now, for those of you who aren't interested in cameras, I apologise for the next 20 seconds. Um, what you can see here is I've got the normal 40mm EF lens on a mount onto the EOS M. Um, if you don't own this lens, but you do own a Canon camera that can take it, then you're mad. Unless you've got a really expensive 50, I'd advise to get the 40. It's unbelievably sharp and unbelievably cheap. Um, so we've got a 40 on a mount on a crop sensor, but it should be really good. Let's take some photos. So it's been a couple of weeks. Still plenty of flowers out. I mean, it's not May yet, so it's not hugely surprising. They're doing something over at the pagoda, so I think they were doing some repair work, but that will be the archery slash rugby slash golf club. I'm not sure which. Um, yeah, let's see what's going on over here. So they're building a giant wooden giant. They're building a wooden giant, um, ready for one of the summer festivals happening here so that's quite exciting um, and over here if you remember this is the tree that came down in October which I have the uh, plaque of at home finally chopped it up into bits they tend to leave a, you can see the groove it left look at that it's like a plane's crash landed um, yeah so they leave a lot of the wood um, about for, for wildlife for beetles and what have you as long as they can, as long as it's not an obstruction. Um, that is quite epic. And look, the bluebells are going down either side. Amazing. All right, let's go and check on the glade. Check this out. Tell me this isn't awesome. It's an 
not very blue blue belts. Look at that, rhododendrons, bluebells, that other stuff I don't know the name of. Wow. So if you were to ask me where my favourite place in the whole world was, it would be hard not to argue exactly where I'm standing right now. Um, this is the Secret Glade in Kew Gardens. So named because I have only ever seen one or two other people in here in years, so it's incredible. And if you can't work out why it's so amazing, then my only suggestion is that you should visit Kew Gardens and try and find it. Especially in the spring, it really does look stunning. Check out that. That is a true sea of blue. Isn't that stunning? It goes all the way around as well. It stretches all the way down there. Beautiful. It's hard not to be completely mesmerised by just how incredible <laughs> these bluebells are. I'm not sure it necessarily comes from on camera. And you see a few bluebells here and there and you think, oh, they're so nice. And then you see this, which is literally a sea of bluebells. Well, figuratively, a sea of bluebells. And um, it's incredible. I've just taken quite a lot of bluebell photos and floral, floral photography, flotography, if you like. Um, <laughs> And yeah, it's slightly addictive. And th this little camera is quite amazing. Um, so which brings me on to my next uh, random tech update, which is if you're looking to buy a camera, um, so if you've had a compact camera for a long time, or what have you, or you've used an iPhone or, or you know an Android phone or something with a half decent camera, and you quite enjoy it and you want to buy a proper camera, but you're put off by A, the cost, and B, the bulkiness, frankly, you know, you have to lug these things around and they come with multiple lenses and what have you. Could I suggest that the first thing you buy is a mirrorless camera? Lots of companies make them and they're coming out constantly. They're varying quality, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. They're all better than your phone camera. I would only worry about the ecosystem which they're in, so what lenses you can get if you choose to then upgrade. You don't want to have to buy new lenses all over again. So. You want to think about that as well as the bog standard quality and whatnot because you don't want to, have to spend the money again because it is an expensive hobby even if you start with a mirrorless which is a cheaper way to go and a lighter way to go so there you go that's my two cents rhododendrons are really out well all colors so i just spent the last hour having lunch and sitting on a very boring conference school so that is awesome and now I'm going to the station. Now somebody here has sprayed all the dog poo with red paint. I won't show you, but it is a bit odd. I mean, why would you do that? How does it help? Is it to stop you treading in it? But in doing so, you've sprayed the ground wet as well? Wouldn't it be easy to clear it up? <laughs> Somewhere in somebody's mind, this was a good idea. Quick, let's spray all the poo with red paint. Anyway, let's go and enjoy another tube strike day. Here we are again. Matt Wilkinson has left me biscuits. And the rest of the team have left me one mug per show. So that's exciting. <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, I've sort of settled into it now. It's much more straightforward. But um, I've got to go now because otherwise copyright protection on Clean Bandit. Hi there. So um, I have spent most of this morning uh, editing, uh, <laughs> remixing Kerry, <laughs> as you will have seen in last week's vlog. Um, to do, uh, she wanted a drum and bass remix of Hush Little Baby. <laughs> yeah, that was good use of my time. Anyway, it's up, and if you missed last week's vlog for any reason, then if I've done the annotations, it should you should be able to just click there and it'll take you to it. If not, um, then you'll have to search on the channel. But um, I'm trying to get better at these, so that should be last week's, and then once next week's is up after this, then that should be next week's. That's how this is supposed to work. Anyway, I'm going into Global now. So I'm back here again. Today has been not that busy. It's been a lot of this and a bit of making bread and a couple of videos on there. 
and I'm back here tomorrow at 6 a.m., which means I'm going to have to get up probably about 5 a.m., which is, yeah, 11 hours, less than 11 hours from now, and I haven't even finished yet. That said, I can't work out if I've got it worse, go having to go all the way home and then come all the way back, or whether JK and Lucy have it worse, because they have to finish the show, have this afternoon, then they have to be back in the studio for 1 a.m. I think I've got it worse, but that's a matter of opinion. So, nearly home. I have dinner and then a cab is coming for me tomorrow at 4.45 a.m. So I can be in work for 5.30 a.m. Which is roughly when the sun rises. And that's 6 till 10. And then I might have some breakfast. Actually, I'm going to be starving. Hmm, okay, well. Don't know that... Oh, McDonald's is 24 hours, isn't it? Good news. Anyway, that's the end for this week. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you enjoy these and that way they you know pop into your YouTube every single week and uh, thanks see you next time